Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a quick and simple recipe for graham cracker toffee. You just need a few simple ingredients. You're going to need some chopped pecans, brown sugar, butter, graham crackers, and that is it, guys. So if you wanna see how this comes together, stay tuned. So I have my graham crackers laid out in a 15 inch jelly roll pan. And the difference between a regular cookie sheet and a jelly roll pan is that the jelly roll pan has sides that are pretty high up. So these are about um, maybe a half an inch in height. And that's gonna keep um, the toffee mixture inside the pan and keep it from, you know, dripping out into your oven. So there are about 12, not about, there are actually 12 graham cracker whole sheets in this pan. So now what I'm gonna do is move across the room to the oven and I'm going to show you how to put the toffee mixture together. So in my heavy saucepan over medium heat, I have two sticks of unsalted butter and one cup of packed brown sugar. So I'm just waiting for this to melt and come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to let it boil for two minutes and then I'm going to remove it from the heat and add the pecans. Okay, so my mixture has just come to a boil, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna let this boil for two minutes. As you can see, I had to work pretty quickly to get the mixture spread out all over the graham crackers and I spread it from edge to edge. I am going to pop this in the oven. My oven has been preheated to 350 degrees for 10 minutes. And then I will show you what everything looks like when it comes out of the oven. So here is the toffee right out of the oven and it smells so good. And as you can see, it spread even more. So I am going to let this cool just a little bit more and then I'm going to cut it and I will come back and show you the finished product. Here are the bars, they have cooled completely. And when you cut these, you do want them to cool off but not be completely cold. So they have a praline taste to them. They're really good. So I'm gonna ask my husband to break one open so that you guys can see. And that's what it looks like on the inside. And there's the back of it. You can see where the butter soaked through. And both of us really like these a lot. So this is a quick and simple recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.